If you're ready to break free from the 9 to 5 office job, this video is for you. Millions of people around the world feel stuck in the traditional work routine, and it's no surprise. For generations, the idea of working Monday through Friday, from 9 in the morning to 5 in the evening, was seen as the blueprint for success. But if you ask most people today, they'll tell you that this structure rarely delivers the financial freedom or life satisfaction many had hoped for. Why is the 9 to 5 office lifestyle so exhausting? According to a survey conducted by Gallup in 2019, 76% of employees experience burnout at least sometimes, while 28% report feeling burned out very often or always. But why is it so hard to break free from this routine? So, how can you break this cycle? What do you think about this? Or have you already broken free? Share your thoughts and advice with me and everyone else in the comments. In this video, we'll dive deeper into how you can escape the office grind and live anywhere, on your own terms. Stay tuned. Why do we work from 9 to 5? It all started with the Industrial Revolution in England, where labor unions fought against worker exploitation. In the early days, factory owners forced employees to work long shifts often more than 10 hours a day for minimal pay. It wasn't until the late 19th century that labor movements began advocating for the standard eight-hour workday, which was eventually adopted in many countries. But in today's world, is this schedule still relevant? With technological advancements, the boundaries of the traditional workday have become blurred. Thanks to smartphones, laptops, and cloud-based tools, this constant connection can make the 9-to-5 workday feel outdated and exhausting. Technology has made it easier than ever to achieve financial freedom and live a more flexible lifestyle. Think back to your first job. Did you ever imagine it would shape the direction of your entire career and lifestyle? For most people, the answer is probably no. Many of us start in entry-level positions, like marketing assistants, simply following the path laid out in front of us. Maybe you impressed your boss, got promoted, and quickly moved up the ladder. First, you become a manager, then a director, and before you realize it, you're an executive with more responsibilities than you ever expected. While this trajectory might seem like a successful career, success isn't a one-size-fits-all model. Sure, a higher salary and the prestige of a top job title sound appealing. You might enjoy luxury cars, bigger homes, and the elevated status that comes with your position. But have you ever stopped to ask yourself, am I truly happy? If this resonates with you, take a moment to reflect. Are you satisfied with your life choices or are you yearning for something more? If you are truly happy, comment I am happy, but if you feel the desire for freedom, freedom to spend time with family, pursue your passions, or simply live life on your own terms, comment I want freedom. Breaking free from the nine to five grind isn't easy. As you climb the corporate ladder, your lifestyle becomes dependent on your income and escaping the job becomes even harder. So, how can you break free from the 9 to 5 nightmare? Start by identifying what truly matters to you. Do you want more time with your family? Are you eager to explore the world, share your talents, or pursue long-forgotten hobbies? The answer lies within you. The first tip I'm about to share with you will grab your attention. But before we dive in, I have a special 10-second request for all of you listening right now. If you can help me out in any way, simply hit that subscribe button, it means the world. It really helps support this channel. And if you do that for me, I promise that my team and I will do everything we can to make this show even better for you. Do we have a deal? Today, thousands of Americans are shifting towards a more flexible lifestyle. In fact, over 16 million U.S. workers identify as digital nomads people who work remotely while traveling. This number has grown significantly in recent years, showing that more and more people are finding the courage to break away from the traditional work schedule. More and more retirees are discovering that the key to a truly fulfilling retirement lies in moving abroad. Retirement can be a magical time a chance to finally escape the daily grind of a 9-to-5 job endless commutes, and constant pressure. For many Americans, the dream of retirement is no longer about downsizing to a suburban home or moving to a warmer climate within the U.S. 
It's about completely stepping away from the rat race and pursuing a lifestyle that offers adventure, affordability, and relaxation. One of the biggest draws of moving abroad is the significantly lower cost of living. From affordable healthcare to inexpensive housing, countries like Mexico, Portugal, Thailand, and Ecuador offer retirees a high quality of life at a lower cost. Imagine living in a coastal villa or a stunning mountain town on a budget that allows you to enjoy more, not less. No more struggling with traffic or answering emails all day, this is your time to savor the little things. After decades of commuting, wouldn't it be amazing to spend your morning sipping coffee in a quaint town square, taking a leisurely walk on the beach, or exploring a vibrant local market? Comment below what's your dream retirement paradise. Susie Orman, a personal finance expert, advises retirees to consider moving abroad for greater financial security and a higher quality of life. Orman herself has shared that, with careful planning, retirees can enjoy a similar or even better lifestyle in another country without the financial pressures of living in the U.S. Jim Rogers, an American investor and author, moved to Singapore, citing economic opportunities and lower living costs. His story is just one of many that demonstrate the appeal of life outside the U.S. Once you've hung up your suit and tie for good. It's not just about living more affordably, but about living differently. Whether you're exploring the historical charm of Italy, enjoying the laid-back lifestyle of Costa Rica, or discovering the exotic allure of Bali, moving abroad offers countless opportunities for growth and self-exploration. Worried about healthcare? Popular expat destinations like Spain, Panama, and Malaysia have strong healthcare systems that are both affordable and accessible. Let me introduce you to some countries considered retirement paradises. Let's talk about one of the most practical reasons why retirees are flocking to Malaysia affordability. The cost of living in Malaysia is much lower than in the US. Many expats report that they can live comfortably, even luxuriously, for just a fraction of what they would spend back home. Imagine this renting a spacious apartment with a stunning view in Kuala Lumpur or Penang for only $700 a month, compared to what you'd pay for a small apartment in San Francisco or New York. You can dine out at restaurants daily, enjoy high-quality health care, and still have enough money to travel or pursue your passions. Moreover, the country has a tropical climate year-round, meaning no more shoveling snow or layering up in heavy clothes. Many expats are amazed by the quality of care they receive here for a fraction of the cost of healthcare in the U.S. The World Health Organization WHO even ranks Malaysia's healthcare system among the best in the world. Plus, Malaysia's location in Southeast Asia makes it easy to explore nearby countries like Thailand, Indonesia, and Vietnam. Malaysia makes it easier for retirees to settle down with the Malaysia My Second Home MM2H program, this program offers long-term, renewable visas for foreigners, provided you meet certain financial requirements. In 2024, Portugal's new digital nomad visa is designed for remote workers who can work for non-Portuguese companies while living in Portugal. Although it's not specifically for retirees, it could be a great fit for those transitioning into semi-retirement or running a business remotely. Portugal offers an affordable lifestyle without compromising quality. The cost of housing, healthcare, groceries, and dining out is significantly lower than what you might be used to in most U.S. cities. A couple can comfortably live in Portugal for around $2,500 to $3,000 a month. Portugal is known for its peaceful pace of life, excellent healthcare system, and friendly, welcoming locals. Many American retirees say they feel more relaxed and healthier living here, thanks to the slower pace of life and lower stress levels. After years of hard work, you deserve to live a life that excites you every day. Why not start in Portugal? Which country do you dream of moving to next? If the idea of slowing down, saving money, and soaking up the sun sounds appealing, the secret to retirement is about to be revealed. One of the biggest reasons retirees flock to Mexico is the lower cost of living. Renting a one-bedroom apartment in an affordable city like Merida can range from $360 to $440 per month, while a more upscale area like Playa del Carmen might cost you $780 to 
basic utilities, including electricity, gas, and water, typically cost around $46 to $56 a month, with internet adding another $23 to $29. Dining out is extremely affordable. A three-course meal for two at a mid-range restaurant usually costs between $34 and $41, and a casual meal can be as little as $4 to $6. A retiree, Debbie, who moved from Houston to Lake Chapala, shares, I was a little nervous at first, but people here are so kind. I've made friends with both locals and expats, and we have a close-knit community. My life feels much fuller here than it ever did back home. In fact, many retirees choose private health insurance in Mexico because it's far more affordable than in the U.S. But even without insurance, paying out of pocket for healthcare services is much more reasonable than dealing with high deductibles and premiums back home. What do you think? Could Mexico be your dream retirement destination? Comment below with your thoughts. According to many retirees, the cost of living in Vietnam is about 50% lower than in most U.S cities. Everyday expenses, from meals to healthcare, are incredibly affordable. A simple meal at a local restaurant could cost less than $2, and healthcare is often world-class at a much lower price than in the U.S. In the U.S., I was barely getting by, even with a decent retirement fund. In Vietnam, I live comfortably on less than $1,500 a month that includes rent, food, and entertainment. It's like a breath of fresh air. Jane, 67, retired to Da Nang in 2020. In Vietnam, life slows down in all the right ways. You can spend your morning sipping coffee at a riverside cafe, take leisurely strolls through local markets, and enjoy breathtaking sunsets on the beach. There's no rush, no need to cram everything into the weekend. Every day can be a mini adventure or a peaceful retreat depending on how you feel. Are you ready to start your adventure? If you're ready to say goodbye to the daily grind and embrace a life of exploration and relaxation, Vietnam is waiting for you. Another option to escape the 9-to-5 grind is to drastically cut your expenses. Living frugally may not be for everyone, but it can eliminate the need for a corporate job. Unfortunately, you can't completely remove all expenses, but you can focus on certain aspects of your life. Some options for living more frugally. Keep your main job and save as much as possible. Retire early in your 40s and live off your savings. Live in a small apartment, spend minimally, and save as much as possible. Living frugally could be a way to escape the 9-to-5 job. It might be a good idea to evaluate your goals and desires in life before deciding to live this way. Now that you're saving, let's talk about growing your money. Many people hesitate to invest because it seems complicated, but it doesn't have to be. With the right approach, you can make your money work for you without taking on too much risk. Set up automatic transfers into your savings account each month. Even small amounts can steadily add up. If you're new to investing, start small and choose simple, low-risk options. Some retirees prefer the safety of low-cost index funds which let you invest in a broad group of stocks with little effort or bonds, which provide more stability. Another option is dividend-paying stocks, which can give you a steady income over time. If you're unfamiliar with investing, consider speaking with a financial advisor who can help you understand your options. It's important to start slowly and avoid putting all your money into one type of investment. Now. The kind of money you earn without having to actively work. Passive income is particularly appealing to retirees because it provides a steady cash flow without the need to re-enter the traditional workforce. You've probably noticed that most business advice centers on making easy money and getting rich with minimal effort. But here's the truth if it were that easy, everyone would already be doing it. Success isn't guaranteed, and many so-called experts often give the impression that becoming wealthy is a simple formula. Spoiler alert, it's not. But fortunately, there is a practical way to escape the 9-to-5 grind, and no, it doesn't require risking your savings or working yourself to the bone. With the right approach, you could leave your day job in as little as six months by starting a service-based business. 
This strategy works because it allows you to leverage your existing skills while minimizing risk. However, before we get into that, let's first talk about what not to do. If you want to break free from the job you dislike, the first thing you need to know is how to avoid the common mistakes that kill success. The biggest trap, starting a winner-takes-all business. This term, which I learned from author Nassim Taleb known for books like The Black Swan and Antifragile refers to markets or industries, where only a tiny percentage of people reap the majority of the rewards. Consider the publishing industry. A few dozen best-selling authors sell millions of books while 98% of authors barely sell a few hundred copies. This phenomenon is similar in other areas such as tech, where companies like Amazon dominate the market. In 2020, Amazon accounted for nearly 50% of all U.S. e-commerce growth. The odds are stacked against most people, and even with intelligence and hard work, luck plays a significant role in winner-takes-all scenarios. Take Jeff Bezos, for example. While he's undeniably smart, there are plenty of other equally brilliant individuals who didn't get as lucky in business. The reality is that not everyone can create the next Amazon, and trying to start a tech company or create the next viral app is a high-risk endeavor. Sure, you might hear about someone who got rich from a smartphone app, but for every one of them, there are tens of thousands of people who barely make enough for a cup of coffee. Another trap to avoid is the idea that passive income is easy. Experts often tout real estate investments, YouTube channels, dropshipping, or selling products on Amazon as ways to achieve financial freedom. While these are all legitimate paths to passive income, they require time, dedication, and a long-term commitment. You may need to stick with these ventures for three to five years while continuing to work your day job, building your business on nights and weekends. If that sounds like too long a timeline, you're not alone. When I was stuck in a job I disliked, I wanted to see a quicker path to freedom. So, after quitting, I dove into online businesses, but what I found was that creating passive income was far from effortless. It takes significant time, energy, and the willingness to face failure before you see any results. Even then, it's rarely truly passive. So. If you don't want to be stuck in your job for another five years, what's the solution? The answer lies in starting a service-based business. It's low cost, low risk, and has a high chance of success. Best of all, you can start earning money almost immediately, with the potential to quit your day job in as little as six months. Here's why service-based businesses are so effective. First, there's no need to invent something new. In fact, it's better if you don't. Offering a service that already has demand, like website design, wedding photography, video editing, social media management, or Excel spreadsheet creation, ensures that there are people willing to pay for your skills. Competitors in these fields indicate that there's a market, and you can tap into it quickly, without needing a large upfront investment. If you're wondering what kind of income you can expect from a service-based business, Consider that freelancers in industries like graphic design or marketing can charge between $50 and $150 per hour. Building a steady client base doesn't require a massive upfront investment, just your expertise, effort, and a clear understanding of your market. While this approach may not make you a billionaire overnight, it offers something even more valuable for many retirees and professionals freedom. Freedom to escape the daily grind, choose your projects, and live anywhere. By offering a service and charging for it, you can start to build a business that provides financial independence much faster than the long-haul path of passive income. If you found today's video interesting, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Your support is very important to us. Be sure to check out the next video appearing on your screen. You're sure to love the content we bring. Please leave a comment about which country you'd like us to explore next. Thank you for watching and see you in the latest video. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.